Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. Their project today is this little country French table with a reclaimed wood natural top. We're going to show you the process how we got to this point. Here's what we're starting our project today. A uh, drop leaf table that we picked up at a thrift store. I think it was on a half price, uh, 25 or 30 dollars. You can see where the formica surface is separating and overall the surface is in pretty rough shape. We're going to combine that with some reclaimed wood that we got for free off Craigslist. Someone was tearing down an old fence and wanted the wood hauled away. So we're going to show you the process right now. So the first thing we're going to do is flip the table over as you can see. We're going to remove all the hardware to take off the leaves and of course that'll remove the gum and we had a pleasant surprise I don't know if you can see that it's upside down there but the table turns out to be an Ethan Allen so that's a score so we'll be right back as soon as we have the leaves off so here's our table with the uh, leaves removed as you can see so while it's upside down still we're going to prime the base and this is our product we use Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Enamel uh, Flat White. So we're going to get started priming it now. Now that we've finished the priming we're going to paint the base. The color we're going to use is a custom color that we make. We call it Blue Slate. Uh, we're going to brush on one coat and uh, distress it lightly once we're done. We'll be back when that process is over. Just as a, as a reference, we find that we get the best effect on the legs if we paint going uh, sideways and follow the curve of the leg around. I, I don't know if you can see that, but it gives the leg a much, much better appearance. Well, here we have it uh, painted on the base and flipped back over already looking a lot better we think so now we're going to take the reclaimed wood and we're going to attach it to the top so we'll show you how we do that right now our tabletop is 48 inches so we're going to cut our boards we're going to pick out four of our best boards and we're going to cut them to a length of 50 inches to be our tabletop Here's the boards. They're cut to uh, 50 inches, and so we're going to uh, attach them to the tabletop now. The way we're going to decide where we put these boards is that we have four boards, so we marked the center mark. Can you see that little mark there on the edge of the board? On both sides. So we set the first board in that position. Now we put the next board on the edge. like that and then we'll repeat that on the opposite side then we're going to mark our boards can you see those little pencil marks there a pre-drill and that's where we're going to attach the boards to uh, the tabletop we're going to want these screws to be hidden so we drill a slightly bigger hole so that the screws will go down below the surface once we uh, install them. Hard wood. Once we have those uh, larger holes drilled, we go back with a much smaller diameter screw to drill down through the formica so that uh, the uh, screws will have something to attach to. So now we just push the screws down through and the screws that we're using are drywall screws eight by one and a half. And we complete that process on all four boards. So we have the first two boards secured to the tabletop and I hope you can see how the screw heads are just slightly recessed. We're going to fill that with some plastic wood um, before we uh, lightly sand. So we're going to continue that and get the other two boards attached. 
Uh, while we're continuing to uh, finish the uh, screws attaching the boards to the uh, table surface, uh, we're going to fill the holes, the screw holes, with this product right here. Here's the uh, tabletop now with some filler in all of the screw holes and we went ahead and added some filler to the gaps between the boards as you can see. So we're going to let that dry and we'll be back when it's dry and we're ready to sand it. All the filler is dry now so we're going to take our palm sander with I believe we've got uh, grit 150 and smooth it down and clean it up. So we're going to start that right now. We have the uh, top all sanded now, it's smooth. So we're going to flip it over, flip the table over and distress the legs now. Uh, we finished with the distressing of the table legs and the base. Not sure if you can see that, I hope you can. So all that's left now is to put our clear coat on the top. We're gonna leave the uh, top the natural color. And this is the product here we use. And basically we just pour a big glob, pour a big pile of that on there and smooth it out so we get a nice thick coat. Here's a reminder of what we started with, the little Formica coated drop leaf table on the half price sale at the thrift store. And next we'll show you what we ended up with. Well, here it is with the uh, clear coat on. What do you think it looks like? Uh, we are very pleased with it. We certainly hope you enjoyed this video. We certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next time, we hope you have a great day.